Good morning, everybody, again in English 1302. I'm going to talk about the required composition handbook, the UTPB handbook. This is what it looked like last year. It was $56. Um, this is what it looks like this year. Big difference. Um, and we got the cost down to $40 by putting it online. Now, um, you will need it for Modern Language Association style, uh, also known as MLA, that you will need to be writing your papers in that style. There's examples of papers and um, it's, it's necessary. Unfortunately, um, there's a lot of books for the classes, but uh, we are doing it through Fountainhead Press via Top Hat. It's called Top Hat. It's a website that I will invite you to go to. Uh, I'll send an invitation. It'll come in your UTPB email and not through Canvas. And unfortunately, that's the way it's set up with Top Hat to go through your UTPB email. But the good thing is you should be checking that email a lot because if things come up and, um, well, it was more if you're a face-to-face -face class and there's weather, uh, court class cancellations, things like that, it comes up and it tells you, gives you alerts, and uh, it's really a good thing for the students, for everybody, especially me, to check the UTPB email. So you will get an invitation from me to join Top Hat. And I'll send out the handout again, uh, or put it in the course. Uh, you will, I'm not sure how soon you're gonna need this, but there's a 14 day trial. It doesn't last very long. It won't last long enough, a 14 day free trial. Um, you will need this course a lot, uh, course handbook a lot. And I have a chapter in it. So it, it was written by faculty and students specifically for our composition courses. So you would get answers to some of the things, especially writing the big papers. So uh, it's, it's a website, a read only is all you have to do. The, that's the only reason you will check into Top Hat. Yeah, I will give you code and uh, it'll be in the handout in the course and an email and uh, you check in and when you click on content uh, what should come up is the book cover that looks like this that's all that will come up first and then the chapters will follow so it's definitely good to have it's, it's forty dollars you have to have a credit card if you go through top hat I believe it's a little bit more um, from the bookstore, like $46 or something to get a code from them. Uh, but you really need the book. You will not submit anything to Top Hat. There will be no assignments in that. All, all the assignments are in the Canvas course only. So you don't have to uh, worry about that. It's just for you to read. It's just like an electronic book website, basically. So um, it's, that it's not confusing. And uh, I'll look and see when you need to have it. And uh, also a little bit more about the matrix. Um, there's some, what is known as Christology in literature where there's uh, Christian elements. Um, Neo is the main character and when you reverse the letters in his name it's one he is the one and there's a scene watch for it where a person says you are my savior uh, there's references to Alice in Wonderland uh, there's reference to all kinds of things in this movie uh, so uh, the, di the pr directors were very, very smart when they put this together. And uh, 
Also, watch for references that make you think of Plato's allegory of the cave. And I will stick a short movie in the course for you to see that. And you are doing great on the rhetorical appeals. You will need to know ethos, pathos, and logos for the Martin Luther King Jr. paper. Ethos, think of ethics, and it's in your handbook. So you'll need the handbook. Um, ethics is, uh, you know, credibility. How much do you believe the person that is telling you something or the writer? How much credibility do, you, do they have? Well, Martin Luther King Jr. had credibility in being a reverend doctor, um, in knowing what he was talking about, knowing history, and he appealed to a Christian audience, so he knew the Bible. And uh, then there's uh, pathos, think of empathy, sympathy, playing on the emotions, playing on the heartstrings. It's a little bit, they're all a little bit manipulative, manipulative um, but it's in a good way. And then Logos is logic. Where does he appeal to laws, justice, statistics, history, um, things that back up your argument. In a research paper, logos would be statistics, data, um, and graphs, things like that. So yes, your first paper is Martin Luther King Jr. A letter from Birmingham Jail. Do not concentrate on all of his speeches. Concentrate on the letter. The first thing you got to do is introduce him. You don't just jump into, you know, the prompt will tell you to pick the most important paragraph in his letter. Describe whether it's ethos, pathos, logos, or maybe a couple. And why you think it's the most important paragraph. But if you're going to have a four-page paper, the first thing you got to do is introduce King. And you will have to use MLA style and credit where you get the information. You can use the reading about writing textbook introduction by Clark, Professor um, Clark Moreland. And uh, then you would quote Moreland. If he quotes something about the background of King and you quote him, at the end of the quotation, you have parentheses, Moreland, page number in parentheses. So if the page was 48, it would be parentheses, uh, Moreland, space, 48, in parentheses. You don't put page, PG, or anything like that. So you have to credit where you got your information. Do not go to history.com. Do not go to the Discovery Channel or some random website. Your best websites will end in .edu or .gov for government, you know, education or government, .gov. And for pity's sakes, stay off of the uh, essay mills where you get free papers or you could pay for a paper and use somebody else's essay or somebody else's work. And I know what's out there. And, you know, one, two, three, say my grade. Um, don't use Ask Jeeves, Spark Notes. Um, those are considered plagiarism. Uh, it's not your own ideas. It's not your own work. So do your best to use your own ideas. And when you do quote somebody, if you're quoting what King said, then it's King, page number in parentheses. So, um, be sure when it's Moreland, quote Moreland. When it's King, quote King, attribute those things in parentheses as you go through your document. Now, the editors of the book are just the editors of the book, so you don't credit them. They, they put the book together. You credit who is speaking, who is your source. And you will have a works cited page, but I'll have an MLA video before that. Right now, I just want you to be sure um, 
to get the tech, the composition handbook, and uh, I'll have more videos. Um, this is probably enough to keep you going today. And do watch, do read Plato, do read Plato, please. It's not an easy read, but then you have an idea of what you're looking for when you get to the Matrix. You may have seen it before, but now you will be watching it through new eyes. A new lens is how, what it is called in literature, seeing things through a lens of culture, feminism, whatever. You put on a different lens to view things. So that's just a little bit about what's coming up, and there will be more videos. I managed to have bronchitis for a few weeks, so lost my voice and got a little behind on my videos, but it's, it's good now, so... Keep going, don't, don't sweat the quizzes, and always write more than less. If the minimum is 300 words, I'm not a bean counter. I'm not gonna you know, click on the tools and see, is this 298 or is it 302? I don't care. Uh, as long as it's the equivalent of 300 words, which is using like a double space type page in 12 point font. So, typeface rather, and uh, y you know, when, when in doubt, write more. Don't write less than the minimum because chances are you did not address the subject or the prompt really well and go into details. Don't be vague and say things like stuff. You know, that tells you nothing. He did stuff. What? Give me an example. Yeah, give your reader a clue. So these are just some little tips and I'm going over in my video again. So uh, that's me I, once I get started. So uh, I'll give you that to think about today. I will be in your course grading. Uh, I noticed that several things are due September 11th. So I did change some dates to give people more time. Um, and the academic uh, integrity uh, is very important also, the assignment. So keep going, and I'll see you at the next video.